Remember me? Where the hell did you get him? Psycho's a Russ. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, look at this. What are you doing in there? Ah! Hello. You know, it just doesn't make sense to me. This accident's been waiting to happen all day, Tracy. Just that's the end of this. 30 seconds, no more this. 30 seconds, no more this. 30 seconds, no more Thank you, Mr. Flynn. Want to lighten up a little bit, pal? <laughs> Look, bet your son's pissing against the wall. <laughs> so then you have no idea how your husband ended up buck naked in a hotel room with a bullet in his face. I probably phrased that a little better. What do I look like? Do I look stupid? Any law against visiting my own brother in the jail? Take him out behind the building and blow him away. Eddie, I got him. Both of them. Come here, you. Get over here. Here, talk. Talk. Hello? Frankly, we prefer the other one. Now, no more crap, Eddie, okay? We've been talking about Vargas, so I don't know if she was trying to tell me that he shot her. But that's the last thing she remembers. She was barely conscious. Vargas, I know that name. Connected to Miami. Yeah, yeah, East L.A., homeboy badass. You're telling me Vargas is confidential informant? For seven years. He helped make some big cases. The Ariella cartel bus was based on his information. How much have we protected this guy? Kept him on the streets. Who's his handler? Andy Torres. Andy Torres is one of the best handlers we got. Why aren't you talking to him? Because I don't know if he's lost control of his CI. He plays a loose joke. I've known Andy my whole career. Kiss my guts. Somebody leaked information back from Sanchez to Vargas. Well, it wasn't Andy. You're wrong now. Joe, it came from the inside, and I can't ask him. What do you want me to do? Run an operation against one of my best friends? I'm not going to send a regular agent in on this. I need somebody who understands the play. Well, I'm not going to do it. Forget it. I'm not asking. Package. But you have to come in and look. I can show you over the phone. Website? Well, what website? We don't have website. Mister, you have to come into my shop and look at my work. Website. Ah, the day just get brighter. Hush. So, who's dead now? And what do you need? Nobody's dead. I can't do a turn these vases. You should recycle them, save a little money. So thoughtful. I am touched. Well, oh, don't be silly. It's wasteful, that's all. Here. You still have that sign in the window. Yes. You know somebody good? I do. Me. You? I am interested. Let's talk. Robbie, I'm going to lunch. I'm not going to lunch with you, Nikolai. I'm seeing someone. So what? This is business. I hope so. Because otherwise I would throw my offer. You smell good. It's the flowers. You are so beautiful. I am not. Did you not wear panties today like I asked? I most certainly did not not wear panties today. Why not? It's unhygienic. What kind of panties did you wear? Something sexy? No, they're not sexy. They're Fruit of the Loom control top briefs, and they come three to a pack for $15 at Target. I want you to go into the bedroom and take them off. Listen up, everyone. The missile installation that we're dealing with belongs to Central Intelligence, as does the warhead and the missile inside. A Marine team has been ordered to meet at a specified checkpoint in four hours. My job is to cooperate with you to the fullest of my abilities and to gather all the resources available to regain control of our silo. Any questions? Yes. What's preventing an airstrike beyond its radar range? That's not an option, General. Next question. Whoa, whoa, just wait a minute. Just what kind of poison did you guys stuff down the throat of this thing? That's classified for the moment, General. You killed my brother. Your brother was criminal. A dead man is a dead man. 
After 70 years, the doors begin to open in Moscow. The first taste of freedom will be cut with cocaine. Any country that can survive Stalin can certainly handle a little dope. I think you should come off your high horse, Captain, and start to talk business. You have my key. I need it quite badly. I willing to pay for it generously, more than you can make in ten years. I do not sell drugs. Foolish. You are so foolish. I thought you might be more reasonable. Money has a way of doing that to a man, but no. I don't think so. Not with you. You are one of those kinds of Soviets that only look forward to death. I know you well, Vanya. Without me, you don't even exist. And you were never home anyway. Okay. Good night.